think our young people are not quite understanding fully what death is and the damage that they're doing. Council member Jamani Williams represents a part of Brooklyn rocked by random gun violence. And I want to make sure young people are held accountable when they do these things. At the same time, I think there's a direct correlation to where this city puts its resources and uh, the violence that then ensues. Williams believes the lack of opportunity, jobs, and counseling often leaves young men drifting without purpose. He thinks the city needs to put more money and energy into helping young people think beyond guns and violence. KRS-One rapper said, all I have is hip hop and a Glock. The results are obvious if I'm confined to my block. And that means a lot. If you don't, if you're, if you're not expanding outside your block, you're not expanding outside your community. And all you're doing is being around all day and you have access to guns, then the results are gonna be obvious. In Brownsville, activist Tony Herbert is crusading to get the message to young men that gun violence ends in senseless death. But he also sees the need for a citywide effort to fight the influence of gangs. We're talking about a lot of guns on the street and a lot of people being killed innocently because of this stupidity. When is it going to stop? It only has to. It can only stop, I should say, when we as a community come together. Not just the African American, not just the Latino community, but New York City as a whole. We have to come together and attack this problem as a joint venture kind of style. Jumani Williams hopes to convince young people that getting respect has nothing to do with taking lives. I believe the entire community cannot give up on our young people. We gotta help them understand how, how life is very precious and I'm thinking they're not understanding that right now. It's hard to know if anyone will listen. It's scary. Any one of us could get caught in the crossfire. Jamie Baez, Brooklyn Cable News.